closing models. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's episode is going to be on how to cut a dress with a front um button. For the dress that I'm talking about, it has a front button. So I'm using three yards of this lacquer fabric to cut it out. The necessary measurement I'll be giving it to you. So from here now, the dress that I'm talking about is not that is a modest way and it's not that big and it's not a fitted as well so we're going to use the hip measurement by adding maybe four inches to it to make it free a little bit it has a slit at the two sides and it has an opening at the front where the button coming from the upper part ends at the down part so this is what i'm trying to say i'm going to use the hip measurement okay like now the hip measurement for this particular dress is 36 inches since it's not going to be fitted i'm going to add four inches to it to make it 40. so the measurement i'll be using for the bust and for the hip now is going to be 40. i can as well deduct the bust measure because the actual bust measurement is 36 inches as well so i can add three inches to 36 to make it 39 at the upper part at the hip side I can add 4 inches to it to make it 40. You understand what I'm saying? I'll be cutting out 40 inches. That is where the button is going to be So with the zip allowance, the at the zip allowance now, I'll be using 10 inches That is 5 inches for this side and the other side 5 inches. So that means I'll be cutting out 50 inches from this three yards of this fabric do you understand what i'm saying like the the, the five inches is going for the zipper land for both sides i'll make it 10 inches so the made the length we're using the measurement we're using for the hip is 40 so 10 plus 40 is going to be 50 so the widest of this i'm going to cut out from the you know I'm, i told you i'm using three yards of this fabric so i'll be reducting 50 inches from it with the same allowance and all that is going for that 50 so this is 50 inches i've cut out from ear to ear now it's 50 inches i'm going to fold it into two first so leaving these inches for the zip allowance you know you're going to add our bottom street so this inch is now you can try to reduce it to any measurement of your choice but yeah i try to reduce it from that five inches i said we were using before to four inches i try to reduce it from that five inches i said we'll be using before to four inches so that by the time we put a stay a gum stay around this area we'll be able to fold it into two like this and you make your button holes, then you hide your button to the other side. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, this is okay for the zip allowance now, or button allowance, since we are using button at this style. So, the first thing we'll be doing here is to take the, show, the necessary measurement. So, to take the uh, shoulder measurement, this is 7.5 inches. Because of the fabric, that the the chalk is not writing properly but by the time i cut it out we're going to see it so the shoulder slant of one inch one inch shoulder slant so i'm going to slant it to this area from the shoulder slant i'll be taking arm measurement of seven inches The half cut, the half cut is 15 inches. From the half cut, I'm going to determine the E point of 9 inches. Then the E measurement, let me take the bust measurement first. The bust measurement I said I'll be using 39 inches. I'll be using 9.75. So with the same allowance of one inch, 
so the waist measurement I'll be using I'm using 36 inches with a seam allowance of one inch so hip measurement I'll be using 40 inches with a seam allowance of one inch you can see so I'm going to connect all my lines together to the to the ammo um, to the from the ammo to the shoulder from the sh from the bust measurement to the waist measurement yeah from the waist to the hip measurement so by the time i cut it you can see the shape properly To take the length, we're cutting out the damp part. The full length is 56 inches. Then I'll make it of 57 inches. You can see this is 57 inches. So by the time I'll be folding it with that one inch. So for this particular area, you have to notch it to know where you're going to start your um your, to know where you're going to put your gum still. So you're going to notch this area that falls to the bottom allowance. The notch where it starts from you can see you can see where i notch just to know where to start from so you have to notch the damp part also you can see just to know where the allowance starting from so the next thing here is to cut out the neckline you can make any neckline of your choice but here i'm going to make use of a one neck because it's going to have a standing collar the the standing collar also is going to have the button the button is going to start from the neck so by the time I, I, I'm done with it, you're going to see it properly. So the wideness of the neck here, yeah, I'll be using two points. I'll be using 2.5 from for the wideness of the neck. For the wideness of the neck, I'll be using 2.5 like this. For the deepness of the neck at the back, I'll be using two inches. Then for the redness of the neck at the front, I'll be using 2.5 inches. So, I'll be cutting out the back neck first. Then, I'm going to cut out the front neck. So you can see it's just an half inch that make it lower than the back neck so this is not the front neck so i'm still going to notch it now i've cut out that so that's why i'm going to notch it so yes this is now where the buttons are going to be like this so we are done with the body welcome back here is the finished work so far this is the shirt dress with a front but you can see and it's also it also has a straight sleeve you can see the straight sleeve and it has a band at this sleeve just for you to cut a straight sleeve then you cut a band at the tip here then at that band I make use of a pleat you can see the pleat you can see so this is the pleat at the at the band side and the pleat is not compulsory you can as well you can as well sew it without 
putting a prick but just make sure this edge the end here is the same thing as the band you're adding to it okay. it's a shirt gown with button with a front button you can see it you can see the distance of the button you can make any distance of your tray but here i make a distance of 3.5 inches from here to here 3.5 inches then i make sure it's at the middle so that if you want to do your own this is how you're going to do it i can see the way i fold this you can see you can see with that um four inches allowance or 4.5 inches allowance then i make sure i fold it so it will be thick as this The same thing applicable to the other side too, then you make them overlap. You make this make um it lap the other side. Look, you can see how beautiful this turns out. So please at the end of this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And for those who have already subscribed, I really appreciate you guys for watching my video always. See you in my next class. Bye.